Hello friend and welcome! Today we are going to be learning how to knit the poncho of your dreams. This one is draping and it's flowing and it's a nice weight so it's not going to be super thick or bulky or too hot for you. And it is essentially just a rectangle that you seam up. So whether you're a beginner knitter or a more advanced knitter, I think you're going to love this one. This design is called Plateaus and it was designed for you by Candy Key. A plateau is an area of level high ground and we hope that when you're knitting this poncho, you're able to find a little bit of calm. Whether you've had a stressful day at work or just in general, we hope that you are able to come home and find a quiet, tranquil place in your house and slip into the rhythmic stitches of this poncho. This pattern really is a very soothing, repetitive design. It's got simple stockinette here in the body and a nice little seed stitch border all the way around and then this gorgeous color work section here in the middle. Now you can also easily adjust this pattern to be as wide or as long as you like. It's fairly easy to do that. And if you are a beginner knitter, even though this is rated intermediate, you can still give it a try and I think you will love it because instead of this color work section, if you don't feel comfortable yet, you can just work this as stockinette like the rest of the poncho or you can even do stripes. If you do want to make this pattern as written, you will need to know how to work seed stitch, stockinette stitch, a three needle bind off, and this color work section. So today I will be doing a little small version for you showing you some of those techniques. To make this, you will need just two colors of fingering weight yarn. And I think that is what makes this pattern so cool. You just use two colors, but they're featured really neatly in this pattern. We've got these large color blocks of the silver and teal, but they're actually reversed on the other side. So depending on which side you wear it on, you're gonna get a different look. And then to blend those larger color blocks, that central color work section really gives a nice cohesive look. I think it's such a clever design. Since we are doing some color work in this design, you're gonna to wanna to choose a yarn that is soft and stretchy while also being long wearing. We chose to use our cash silk sock yarn for this pattern. It is supremely soft because it does have cashmere in it and it's gonna hold up really well to lots of love and use. So you can wear your poncho as often as you like. It's also really nice and buttery and drapey. So it will be very flowy and elegant on your shoulders. Once you have your materials on hand, go ahead and hop to expressionfiberarts.com and download the pattern. While you're there, sign up for email updates because we do new patterns nearly every Friday and they are almost always free for a limited time. We're also gonna put the direct link to the pattern and the yarn in the description box for you. So let's go ahead and jump in and learn those techniques that you're gonna need to make this poncho. I'm gonna start by casting on nine stitches using color one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Next, I'm gonna cast on nine stitches using color two. And you're just gonna cast on in the same way you did with that first color. They will not be joined at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you will of course have a lot more stitches when making the actual poncho. We're gonna start with a seed stitch in color two, which for me is this teal color. And seed stitch is just, I'm just gonna purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. Continue repeating that across, purl, knit, and purl. Now we're gonna join to color one. So what you wanna do is grab color one and you're gonna wrap it under color two like this and that's gonna lock them together. And then you're gonna continue on in the same stage, seed stitch. So I finished with a purl stitch so I'm gonna go ahead and start with a knit stitch with the silver. Purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, and knit. And you've now connected your colors. Now we're gonna work seed stitch across this row again. 
And to work seed stitch, whenever you see a stitch with a purl bump, you knit that stitch. Whenever you see a knit V, you purl that stitch. So since I'm starting with a stitch with a purl bump, I'm going to go ahead and knit it. And then purl the next one. Knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, and knit. And when you come to the second color, since we are on the wrong side of our work now, you're going to have your yarn facing you when you cross it. When you're on the right side of your work, like we were on the previous row, you cross the yarns in the back. So drop color number one, and you're going to pick up color two, and it's coming up under color number one. And we're going to continue on. So that we finished with a knit over here. So we're a knit stitch. So we're going to start with a purl stitch on the teal. And we've successfully locked our colors together again. Knit, purl, and you continue all the way across your row in seed stitch. Knit, purl, knit, and purl. You will repeat those seed stitch rows in the real pattern, but I'm going to go ahead and move on. Now we're going to work a seed stitch border, and yours will be five stitches. I'm just going to do three. So again, when you come to a little knit V, when you're working seed stitch, you purl that stitch. And when you come to a stitch with a purl bump, you knit it and purl. So there's my three stitch seed stitch border. Then you're going to go ahead and place a stitch marker and you're going to knit across the rest of this color. Two, three, four, five, and six. This is a right side row. So we're going to switch colors to the silver. So you drop the teal and you bring the silver up under the teal and that locks them together. And you're going to go ahead and knit until you have, for me, three stitches left. For you, it's going to be five stitches for the real poncho. And we're going to create a seed stitch border on this side. Place your stitch marker so that you can remember that this is your little seed stitch border. And check what you've got going on here. We have a stitch with a purl bump, so we're going to knit it. And then purl and then knit. We're going to start the next row with our seed stitch border, which for me is going to be knit, purl, and knit. Then go ahead and slip your stitch marker and you're going to purl across until you reach the next color. And this is creating that stockinette section. When you reach the, the second color, you're going to go ahead and drop that one and pick up the other color underneath so that they lock together. And then you're going to continue purling across with that color until you get to your seed stitch border. And when you reach that, you slip your stitch marker And then look to see your stitches. And for me, I'm going to work a purl, knit, purl. You're going to repeat those rows till you have three inches from your cast on edge, but I'm going to go ahead and move on to the color work section. Now we're going to work two rows of the color work section with each color. To start, you're going to work your seed stitch border. For me right now, it is purl, knit, and purl. Then you're going to slip your marker and work the chart. Just follow along in the chart. This is row one. You're going to work knit, knit, and when you see an S, it means to slip that next stitch. So just slide it from your left needle onto your right needle. Here's another knit stitch and then another slip stitch and then three knit stitches one two three you just can continue using the teal all the way across 
then slip, knit, slip, and knit. Continue following the chart until you get all the way across to your final seed stitch border and you're going to slip your stitch marker and work your seed stitch border, which for me is knit purl and knit. So that is the first teal row of color one. Now we're going to work that same row again in teal but backwards. So we're going to follow the chart again. Start with your seed stitch border, knit, purl, knit, and slip that stitch marker. Then go ahead and follow the chart just like you did but backwards. And instead of working knit stitches, you will work purl stitches. Up first is a purl stitch, slip, purl, slip, purl, two, and three. Then you're going to slip, purl, slip, and then two purl stitches. And you'll continue repeating that across your row. Go ahead and slip your stitch marker when you get to your seed stitch border. And then finish off with your seed stitch border. Knit and purl. We've now worked two rows with the teal. Now we're going to work the next row with the other color two times just like we did. So I'm going to pick up my silver and for me I start this row with a purl stitch because you're going to work your little seed stitch border first of course. Knit and purl and you're going to slide your stitch marker over. Now we're going to follow the chart and since we're on a right side row it's going to be in knit stitches. Knit two three slip the next stitch and you'll notice when you're on a right side row you're slipping with your yarn in the back so it's hidden. Then we're going to knit two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to slip the next stitch and knit two. And you'll continue repeating that all the way across your row until you get to your seed stitch border. Then you're gonna slip your stitch marker. Mine's hung up, I'll fix it in a minute. And then finish with your seed stitch border, which for me is knit, purl, and knit. I'm gonna go ahead and work this same row again, but backwards with the same color and working purl stitches instead of knit stitches. Start with your seed stitch border, knit, purl, knit, and slip your stitch marker. Then working purl stitches, repeat that row, but backwards. For me, I'm just going to work purl two, slip, and when you're on wrong side rows where you're purling, you always slip with your yarn towards you. Then five purl stitches, two, three, four, five, slip, and then purl three stitches, two, three, and work that all the way across your row, slipping your stitch marker when you come to it, and then finishing off with your seed stitch border. Knit and purl. And you'll continue on in that manner. Then you're gonna repeat rows seven and eight like you did down at the beginning to create more stockinette here, but you're gonna reverse the color order. So when you used teal down here, you're now gonna use silver, and then where you use silver, you will use teal. Then you're gonna go ahead and finish off with more seed stitch rows. Then to finish off your piece, you will need to know how to do a three needle bind off, and we have a video of that technique for you, so we will link to that in the description box. Please enjoy and have a marvelous day. I hope you're able to find some time to knit today and try to find that calm, centered place inside of yourself because you, just as much as anybody else on this planet, deserve a sense of calm tranquility. Thank you so much for being here with me. I'm going to see you next time. Go out and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.